Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. This is Joaquin Phoenix, which you just saw, doing the curtsy for William. Uh, and some people are saying that that is disrespectful. That Holly, you know, that he's mocking William. He's mocking the royal family. I don't know. We'll look at that. Uh, and like I always say, what people do is you always watch what people do. What people do is much more important than anything they say. Okay, so we have several examples. We have Brad Pitt at the BAFTA uh, uh, through his friend, that woman, I forget her name. Uh, he accepted the award and he named his BAFTA Harry because he's taking it back to Hollywood with him. Okay, so that's, that was, I thought that was really hilarious. And here we have Joaquin Phoenix curtsying to William. And this could be mocking. You know, I'm wondering if, uh, you know, because the royals, and in particular Harry and Meghan and Andrew, are comporting themselves with such a lack of dignity that people are noticing. That is... Man, that's, that's not good. That's not good. That's the opposite of what the royals, you know, intend. They're supposed to be royals. You know, they're not supposed to be mocked and ridiculed uh, by, you know, these people are world famous. They have big voices. This is the Joker. And it's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it. So the topic I want to cover today is, has Harry had a mental breakdown? Some people are saying Harry's had a mental breakdown. Other people are saying that he has become reclusive. He's feeling trapped. He's feeling uh, like, oh no, what have I done? That he's regretting leave, leaving the royals. He should be regretting leaving the royals. Man, that's a stupid move. Somebody slap him upside the back of his head, you know, really good. And say, what are you thinking? You know. Uh, but this is what a narcissist will do to you. They will completely isolate you, uh, completely cut you off, and you just, you just, you know, and, and they don't care that you're just sitting there, you know, dying because they have control over you. It's all about control. And that's what's happening to Harry. She isolated him from his whole family. She isolated him from all his friends. She isolated, she removed him from the royal family. Oh my goodness, that's a coup. And then she moved him to Canada, and that's not far enough. Now she's moving him to California. Man, it, I'm feeling trapped, okay? And it's not happening to me. So, has Harry had a mental breakdown? Let's first try that one. Has Harry had a mental breakdown? You know, is he surrounded by a team of therapists somewhere? Because in past readings, I felt that he was in an okay place. Okay, well, I got the no. Has Harry had a mental breakdown? I got the no. I got the player. I got the snake. I got the magi. And we got the woman. Because all along I have felt that Harry is Harry and Meghan are already separated. Now, if they're already separated, then Harry's going to be in a better place because he needs to get away from Meghan. But if he's still with Meghan, he's in a very dark place because Meghan has put him in this very dark place out of just a pure desire to control him. Uh, and that control will kill him. It's going to suck the life out of him. So, is Harry having a mental breakdown? He's surrounded by therapists. Okay, so we have many hands. We have transforming. We, this can be full stop or no. On the mind is very ill, healing, player, serious problems, magi, and woman. The woman is manifesting serious problems at this moment. Many people are helping... 
Well, a full mental breakdown would be a full stop and great illness. Hmm. Maybe. Interestingly, maybe. Uh, and, you know, I'm asking, is he surrounded by a whole bunch of people helping, a whole bunch of people transforming him, full stop, healing, uh, because he's very ill. Uh, scapegoat is also about blame. Player and snake, a temporary, you know, an event, uh, a very serious, deeply rooted event manifested by the woman. Yeah, maybe. Let's just do some other spreads. Maybe. Maybe Harry has had a breakdown and he is in, uh, you know, sort of crisis counseling surrounded by a bunch of people. <clears throat> Let's ask, is Harry feeling trapped? Is he having buyer's remorse? Is he regretting leaving the royals? Okay, because if Harry, uh, the story is he's, you know, become very reclusive, not going out. He's feeling very depressed, and that's what Megan wants. Okay, Megan doesn't want him being out there interacting with other people because other people are resources. Connecting to other people, uh, you know, gives you new ways of thinking and seeing the world in different ways that she's not controlling. So she wants him trapped in the house. So is Harry feeling trapped? Is he having buyer's remorse? Is he regretting leaving the royals? Trapped. Regretting. Stuck. Devil. Okay, is Harry feeling trapped? The devil is a trap. Okay, if, like the devil card on the tarot, this is a trap card too. Okay, with this card we have two hot women. She's very young, she's much more naked, and we have snakes. And, and they basically, in this card, they lure you down the dark, down the long corridor. And the further down the corridor you get, the more trapped you become, and the harder it is to get back. Okay, that's how the devil works. Uh, the devil lures you. It looks like, it looks like it's attractive. Okay, and in the devil, in the wide rider weight, is has a man and a woman naked, chained by the Baphomet, by the beast, by the man beast, which is half woman, half man. Uh, so a lot of symbolism in the other one, but it's both are trapped. Is Harry feeling trapped? Is he feeling regret? Trapped. Stuck. Uh, ruler is in control of his world. 13, 24, 29, eight hearts. Water into wine. Here's the eight hearts. So he's trapped. His way, his life has been transformed suddenly, and now he's trapped and stuck. And five diamonds is about moving up the ladder, progressing, Okay, uh, so underneath is progress, progressing, uh, 14, four diamonds. His foundation, his foundation is still there, but he absolutely feels trapped. He absolutely feels stuck. Let's ask if Harry is a recluse. Has Harry become reclusive? You know, like Howard Hughes. And I'm not sure why Howard Hughes became so reclusive, but some people, they just lock themselves away and they don't come out. Boy, I'm Fumble Bunny today. I just have, everything's falling out. All right. So are Harry, is, has Harry become a recluse? Sleeping all day, refusing to leave his room, feeling very depressed. He become reclusive. City strength. Trinity. And they're saying that he's uh he's on the WhatsApp app, you know, talking to all his old friends. That's not very reclusive. Okay, if he's on the WhatsApp, that's reaching out. All 
Okay, so is he reclusive, sleeping all day? Okay, strength, you know, has he become uh, a Kardashian? You know, the younger Kardashian, what's the guy with the sock line? I can't believe I can't remember his name. I was a huge fan of the Kardashians. Anyway, the, yeah, his named after his dad. Uh, Bruce, no, he's not a Bruce. Anyway, the younger Kardashian, he's named after his father, I guess. Anyway, I don't know. That one. He blew up to 350 pounds and makes all these excuses and hides food in his room and what a mess. Rob Kardashian, Robert, he's named after his father, Robert Kardashian. Okay, because he's the son. That's a good way to name your kid. I like it. Okay, so strength, trinity. I'm going to name my first male child after me for sure. Uh, city. So strength and city and trinity. Everything working together. Very rooted uh, in the world. 1922, six diamonds. That's many people. No, he's not being reclusive here. Sun and fence sitter. Six, two diamonds. Connecting, uh, revealing, reacting. He's not being reclusive. Uh, he's all over that WhatsApp. He's talking to people. He's, uh, he's talking to the whole world. And Trinity is... Uh, diamonds are their electronic media cards. So he's like connecting to the whole world. So he is still very connected to the whole world. He's not become a recluse. He's not doing, he's not pulling a Rob Kardashian. Okay, so let's address this because this is it, body language wise. Okay, him curtsying, if this is mocking uh, Joaquin Phoenix, if he's mocking the royal family, if uh, Brad Pitt was mocking, that's very, very bad. Okay, the, the best sign of a divorce coming is disrespect from your spouse, you know, not respecting your spouse, treating them very poorly, mocking them, disrespecting them. This is the, this is the precursor to very, very bad things coming down the, the pike. So was Joaquin Phoenix mocking uh, William and the royal family with this curtsy? Was he mocking? I mean, was this disrespect? Let's just see what we see. Or was he just, you know, he's, he's the Joker. I mean, he's the Joker. He's, he's a different kind of Joker, but that's a joke. And it's, it's hilarious, frankly. Okay, we have several instances of this, okay? And, and also Ricky Gervais with his scathing remarks. I mean, he went after Andrew. He went after everybody. If you haven't seen the Ricky Gervais thing where he was hosting one of these award shows, he just, he just skewered everybody. It was, it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, absolutely just wonderful. I mean, he really told them. So you, you should check that out, Ricky Gervais. So was, was the Joker here, Joaquin Phoenix, was he mocking? Finger of God, outside events, home, people close to you. Okay, so he's feeling like they're equals. You know, these are the people close to you and your family. Broken relationship with the people close to you because of outside events. Oh dear. Nine and four, 13, four hearts. So... Four hearts is emphasized, and this is saying that the, the Hollywood people, he's an A-list star, absolutely. Joaquin Phoenix is brilliant. He's an A-list star, and they're feeling like equals. Okay, so Brad Pitt, Joaquin Phoenix, they're feeling they're equals to, to the royals. Okay, that's what that four hearts is saying. So outside events, recent events, make them feel that they're equals to the royals. Now... I would say, and I'm not trying to be unkind, but uh, Megan is an actress, and she is not 
an A-list actress. She is not the equal of Joaquin Phoenix. She is not the equal of Brad Pitt. These are super duper mega stars. And she's also not the equal of Oprah. Okay, these are super mega stars. Or Ellen. Okay, so, but Will is a cut above. Will and Kate are a cut above uh, Megan. Okay, Harry is a cut above Megan, unless he lowers himself to her level. So, what this is saying is, um, Joaquin Phoenix, I'm asking if he's being disrespectful, he is feeling that they are equals and the relationship is, because they've acted not very good. The royals, Andrew, Megan, Harry, they've not been... Uh, comporting themselves appropriately. He's actually, the relationship is breaking down. Okay, so this is, this is mocking. This is disrespect. So that's not so funny. Okay, Incubus Succubus, bad relationship. Sweet, the roses, uh, very public. And a big change in the sweet relationship because of bad acting. The bad, the relationship is souring. Nine. Three hearts. The, the sweet relationship is souring. Yeah. So this, this is a big, big deal, okay, that Hollywood people are starting to mock and make fun of the royal family. That's a huge deal. And that's the danger of what Meghan and Harry are up to. That's the danger. That's why you have to cut the cancer out. That's why you have to send them to Frogmore and then send them out of the country and say, you can't be half in. You can't be half out. And this... Exactly this, what, what is happening with Joaquin Phoenix, what is happening with Brad Pitt making fun of Harry, his BAFTA, he's going to name him Harry and take him back to America. This is exactly what the Queen was trying to cut off, was trying to prevent, and it's happening. So that's a big, big deal. That's a big deal. Okay, and I also don't see Meghan's, you know, search for... Uh, you know, going back to Hollywood and becoming a star, I don't see that going very well. And I've heard that she's reaching out to her ex-husband, uh, Trevor Engelson. She uh, was sleeping with another man in Canada, the, the cook, Corey Vitiello, and probably living with him already. Okay, and then she just sent the ring back in the mail. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That's just so terrible. That is so terrible. That that is so that is so cancel culture. I don't need you. You don't mean anything to me. They were married and she doesn't even have the decency to talk to him and try to work it out. That's really disturbing. That's really really disturbing. So, why did Megan keep her clothes in storage for two years in Canada? Okay, she spent a million dollars on clothes. It's not like she needs those clothes. Yet she's, she's, maintaining, um, she's maintaining storage with her clothes, with all her Canadian clothes. She didn't send them to England. Why wouldn't you send them to England? Because England is not a warm place. It's cold. Okay, and the clothes that you were wearing in Canada, you can definitely wear those same clothes in England. Okay, you can definitely wear those same clothes in England because it's cold there and it's wet. Uh, so was she, was this plan B? Was she expecting to quit the Royals all along? Why is Megan keeping clothes for two years in Canada? Cornerstone, yeah. Diamond ring. Uh-huh. Angel, oh dear. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so why is she keeping her clothes? Is this plan B for her? Cornerstone, solid foundation, uh, connected to a cornerstone. And then we have, this is either Archie, 11 and 6, 17, five hearts. The 
sitting on the fence card? Oh, yeah. She's sitting on the fence. She's not committing. Oh, dear. So she's married and she joined the royal family, but she's not committing. Wow. You, you have to jump in with both feet and all the way in. That's the only way you're going to be successful. And that's what she did not do. And that's why she was not successful as a royal. And, as, and you can argue that she was not successful as Harry's wife. Okay, because she needed to completely commit. So committed, foundation, and angel. But she was on the fence. Five hearts. She was on the fence. Cup overflowing. Yes. The yes is like so important. Very emotional. Yes. But she's independent. So what I'm seeing here is very emotional. It's all about her emotions. But she's independent. She's on the fence, five hearts, and she's keeping her independence. Wow. This is plan B. I asked, is this plan B? She's got the fox and the five hearts. It's a just in case. Just in case, I'm keeping, I'm telling here on the surface, she's very committed, she's having a child, but just in case, I'm going to keep these clothes in Canada. So she really is somebody who, who is you know, keeping all of her options open, which is terrible. How can you be married if you're keeping all your options open? Okay, if your wife or your husband, you're, and you're married to this person, and they're on Tinder, you know, preparing the next victim all the time. Oh, yeah, baby, you're so hot. Or, you know, if it's a woman, oh, you know, I love, you know, oh, I'd love to meet you. You know, my goodness, someone doing that? You're not married. That person is not married to you, okay? If, you're, if your wife or your husband is, you know, preparing the next victim in case it doesn't turn out, that person is not married to you. And that's what Megan is doing. Megan is preparing her next source of supply. She, she's, she, was keep, she was keeping one foot in, one foot out. You can't do that. You can't do that. And that's what she's done all along. And, and her proposal to the royals was, well, we're going to keep one foot in the royals. We're going to be royals, but we're going to do whatever the heck we want. One foot in, one foot out. Can't do that. You can't do that. It's not going to work. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting reading. What do we have? Did Harry have a complete mental breakdown? Is he surrounded by a whole bunch of people? Yes, he, it, it appears that he had a full stop and is really sick. And, he, and Megan is manifesting this crisis in him. His interactions with Megan are manifesting. So he is, he is a mess, and he's, but he's getting a lot of support. He is getting a lot of support. The six diamonds. The center is a whole lot of people helping him because they have unlimited resources. Is he feeling trapped uh, in the relationship and regretful? Absolutely. He can't get any more trapped. He's just feeling absolutely trapped. Uh, and, you know, him being in control of his life is in the past. And everything at, besides the past is he's just feeling trapped and he can't move forward. And that's exactly what it feels like to be trapped. Everything he was has been taken away from him, including being a royal, including everything that he did, including all of his friends and his family. He's just completely trapped. He feels completely trapped and he's in a crisis. <clears throat> Is Harry becoming very reclusive? No, he's not. He's reaching out to people. And I think it's, he's reaching out to the whole world. And he is surrounded by a lot of people. So he's not, that's good. He's not being reclusive. Okay, was he being disrespectful? Was Brad Pitt, are the, are the Hollywood set starting to be disrespectful? You're my equal, Prince William, future king. You're my equal. You're breaking the contract and you're, you guys are turning the relationship sour and it's because of the stuff that Meghan and Harry are doing. Uh, they now feel that the Hollywood set, the A-listers now feel that they're equals to the royal family and that's very bad. How can you be royal if, if you know, just famous people are equal to you now? <clears throat> so things are really shifting. This is a very, very, very bad sign. Very bad sign. And that's what the queen was trying to cut off. Why did Meghan keep keep her clothes for two years in Canada? One foot one one foot in, one foot out, and that's just Meghan, and that's very bad. And 
If you're somebody like that, you'll never be successful in anything. You have to commit. You can't keep one foot in, one foot out. You have to commit. And that's the only way. And if it doesn't work out, then you move on. Okay, but you have to commit 100% or you're never going to be successful. And that's, that's what's happening to Megan. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.